HR Unplugged series had its first birthday this year. So we're on episode 38 by the end of this month. Yeah, it's super exciting. By the way, you guys should celebrate your your marks on your series. Like if you make big milestones, uh, the audience loves that sort of thing too. So um, we run about two, we try to do it every two weeks or two times a month um, kind of is our average. Um, a part of the that consistency is really good too for your, if you're going to load it as a podcast, the more episodes you put up, the better you get rewarded. So in some months where we end up doing three, my numbers skyrocket and um, I love that. So um, let's see, I think I have a, a slide about our average stats. Um, if you want to share that one, um, this is just come up some of our basic stats, you know, obviously like with all of your uh, webinars, you have some that are, you blow out of out of the house and but this is our average stats so like um we we get around 1500 people um registration for around 400 attending and 2.5 uh thousand downloads a month on the podcast so these are some of the stats that we share with our speakers uh, before they start the series with us um the other cool thing is like the loading it as a podcast we've just had this very organic growth like we haven't really like pushed anything we haven't done any paid um but it's had organic growth month over month and i think there's a slide uh, on this too um and you can see like this is our this was our new podcast platform so i only have reporting since march but you can see how from just this year in march it's gone from 695 to october's was over 2500 downloads so and that it looks like that trend is going to continue to to expand um, and I'm hoping to work with Ian a little bit to um, from Caspian Studios to to push this a little bit further and do more than organic growth. But um, the and like you said, the one question, like the biggest struggle I always have with series is diminishing returns. Right? It seems like as soon as somebody registers for something and they're automatically registered or whatever, it's like they're not as excited because they didn't do, go through that process of of registering. So. Um, that's a that's a big part of why I wanted to use Goldcast is because of those automatic calendar invites that get sent. Um, I'm also playing with uh, text reminders too um, that go out via text uh, just to remind people that it's going um, so that those people that maybe didn't have to go through the registration process are, are peaked um, phone as well. So those are kind of some of the things that we're working on to try to keep people coming back every time. Um, I think the other thing is like great content, right? Like is it, if you keep giving people really great content, they're just not going to not come back. 